Last item of the day is this Ronson Multi Chef food processor. It's a really old food processor that I'm just sending out for my mum. Sold for 25 bucks. And it is freeing up some space in the bottom shelf there so I can store some more inventory there. But yeah, just gonna put this in a box and get it out. 25 bucks. So the packages are all packed up and ready to go. We got two, four, six, seven packages. Nerf gun is in that one. And then the food processor fits in this one pretty nicely. But let's get to the post office and get these out. All right guys, so I made it to the post office. I got the parcels out. Right now though, I'm out the front of a Salvos. I'm about to go in. Today, I'm strictly sourcing for Amazon products. I'm not trying to go for eBay stuff. I wanna try and get my Amazon inventory up and going. So strictly just searching for Amazon stuff. So, so we'll see how we go. Um, I might not even find anything really because it's slim picking sometimes, but, but we'll see how we go. All right guys, I'm just gonna go to one more op shop before I head home. And it looks like the road is blocked up here. There's like fire truck, and coppers like block on the road up here. I think there might be a crash or something. Hope nobody's hurt. That looked pretty bad. So that was a pretty bad accident, unfortunately. Two cars like had a head on and they're like on both sides of the road, smashed in pieces and all in between in the middle of the road. Um, it's pretty bad and it happened right at the front of the op shop that I just went into I didn't really want to record the accident that much because I wanted to you know have some respect for the people that were injured No one was really hurt bad or the, and there wasn't luckily any deaths or anything like that, but it was um, a Pretty bad accident just some cuts and bruises from the people who were involved One of the people from the op shop their car had been hit as well And it was pretty much written off so that's pretty unlikely because it's like cars parked along the side of the road someone must have been just hooning down the main and and just collected up a bunch of cars and it wouldn't surprise me if they were on some kind of drugs or something like that some meth head or something it's just the way it is these days and around this area specifically people just do drugs and they just freak and they just put everyone else at risk it's pretty disappointing but it's just the way it is i guess but anyway i didn't find anything at that thrift but i did find some pretty cool stuff but i did find a couple of things for amazon and one thing for ebay maybe more than a couple of things for amazon let me get back home and I'll share with you what I picked up today. Just a quick little haul. And then I have to, I didn't get to go to the library today. Instead, I'm gonna get back home, edit the video that I should have put up last night, and then get some more work done when I get back home. So I made it back home. Let me show you what I picked up from the thrift today. Just a couple of items. It wasn't like a hardcore thrift day today. It was just, it was just a little hour or so trip. Wasn't uh, anything special. So what we have here is some books for Amazon. Half of those are what I picked up today from about here down is what I got today. The rest is what I'm getting ready to send out. But the one item that I did pick up clothing wise is this super dry original wind cheetah. Wind cheetah they call it or wind cheetah whatever floats your boat. Size extra large for 15 bucks. Just coming back from Japan this is pretty cool it's like super dry Japan. But this one should sell for about 45 to 50 bucks, we'll see. It's a nice jacket. So what I'm doing right now, I've just made a list of all the stuff that I want to try and get done by tonight. So I just made a list here of what I want to do. I just want to get all this stuff done by tonight. This is all in relation to eBay, Amazon, brand building, all that sort of stuff. If, if all that makes sense. But before I do that, I'm going to get stuck into some housework. I'm going to clean up the house a bit. So then when the parents come home, they are happy to see a nice and tidy house. It's always good to surprise the parents sometimes. Just, you know, vacuuming the floors, doing all the dishes, folding up all the washing. So there's no chores for them to do for when they come back home. And then they can have a relaxing sort of sit down or whatever after a hard day at work. So I just want to do that for an hour or so. And then I'm going to get stuck into this list and hopefully I'll get it all done by tonight. And I also have to edit a video that I should have uploaded yesterday. So by the time you're watching this, a few days have passed by. And again, I want to apologize for the late upload because I lost that cord and I finally found it today. Chore number one is to fold up the washing. There's two baskets and a little putty cat on top. Should we fold you up? Can I fold you up? Fold up your ears? <laughs> okay, all folded. I'm sorry, Greta, for waking you up.
you clean the vacuum, does that make you the vacuum cleaner? Karate chop, ready? <laughs> so I did get some housework done. Now it's time to get some work done. I finally found this cord here for my hard drive. This was lost all of last night and all of today and I finally found it. It was on the floor of the car so it must have fell out of my bag or something one day there when I went to the library. And this is a necessity. I really needed this. I didn't have it last night. So right now I'm going to edit the video that should have went up last night and then I'm going to edit tonight's video as well.